Welcome to NRP On Demand. One of the major issues of the progressive era was women wanting the right to vote. Known as suffragettes, these women tended to be middle-class white women that were frustrated that they had no say in the issues of the day, things like solving the urban issues or the workplace problems. Um, they tended to argue that their maternal nature would uh, want would allow them to desire uh, cleaning up society. They opposed the liquor industry. They opposed gambling. They opposed the political bosses. And the argument was that uh, if they were allowed to vote, they would naturally vote for people that would uh, clean up these issues. So there's a lot of opposition. Uh, we need to be careful, though. It wasn't just white women that were fighting for this. There was a group of women, African American women, known as the uh, National Association for Colored Women, uh, that were fighting for civil rights, which, along with that, would have been suffrage rights. Typically, we think of two different leaders. The first was Carrie Chapman Catt, though, uh, who was a woman that wanted to uh, lobby on a state-by-state -state basis for the right to vote. So every individual state would pass a law that allowed women the right to vote. Um, Carrie Chapman Catt formed the National American Women's Suffrage Association to work on this lobbying. The problem was not all women were uh, happy with the state-by-state -state process. It took a long time. If you were in a state that uh, didn't allow it, uh, you had no recourse. So there was a split in this tactic. Uh, one of the people that led the charge at a national amendment was known as uh, Alice Paul. Alice Paul started a party known as the National Women's Party, and they wanted a national amendment to be passed, which would force states to give women the right to vote. Uh, Paul led marches and protests, and she even picketed outside of the White House during the Wilson administration during World War I. Uh, for her efforts, her and her fellow suffragettes were often attacked physically by men who didn't want women to get the right to vote. Um, they were arrested, especially Alice Paul and, and her fellows outside of the White House, uh, and they were put in prison for weeks, months at a time. Um, they went on hunger strikes to try to publicize their, uh, their issues. Uh, the jailers didn't want them to die in prison, so they force-fed them with these big tubes shoved up their nose and into their stomachs. And uh, these force-feedings were horrible. Uh, Alice Paul went underwent psychiatric uh, evaluation because uh, people thought she was insane for wanting the right to vote and that she was obsessed with Wilson. So the big issue during this era for women was gaining the right to vote, and that's going to lead into further civil rights efforts uh, after they get the right to vote in 1920. Thank you for joining us with this NRP On Demand broadcast. For more information on the National Reconstitution Project, our mission, or the projects, please visit our website listed below.